Hi, uh, I am Nishant, working as a software developer at Mindfy Solution. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about the installation process of Umbraco CMS. Here, I am taking uh, Umbraco CMS version 6.06, uh, which is currently a stable version of Umbraco. For this purpose, we need the window uh, 7 uh, as operating system and database. SQL Server 2008. We can also use the SQL Server 2012. And for this hosting process, uh, for this Umbraco CMS, we need IIS Server 7.5. So before that, uh, we must have to download the latest file from the Umbraco site. So for this purpose, uh, we must have to go to the Umbraco site uh, where we can check the latest version of Umbraco. Here, uh, you have to download the Umbraco CMS 6.06 .06 zip file here also uh, provided as a binary file and WCF service and CMS Bay API and another stuff related to Umbraco application so here uh, I have downloaded this application and placed under uh, D folder so here uh, we have zip file of Umbraco CMS application now we will uh, extract this file and give some meaningful name here. Uh, I will provide name as Umbraco demo. After that, extract. It will take some amount of time for it. After the extract, extracting the file, we we, are, we have to do some setting changes in uh, this for this folder so that we can point it uh, by IIS. So for this process, we have to uh, go to security section and for user Nissan Seven user, we must have to do some additional changes like we have to provide permission little stuff like full control and modify property and after th after that click on apply. It will take some time because it have to uh, provide this permission for all of the file under this folder. So just wait for this. Here we are done with this uh, permission and after that you have to uh, add some of the group here. Uh, the first group is network. After cl network, click on check names. It, there will be two uh, data here network and network service. You have to select network service because you are going to host it on IIS. Uh, you are wanting to point to this side. So you have to uh, allow permission for uh, this group. So after selecting network service, click on OK and select this one and allow these to full control and modify property here. After that, apply again go to add section and add iis i user click check names after that click on check names okay you must have to go to advanced section we can also find from here iis i users after that click on okay and allow these two property for this after clicking on allow so we are done with uh, the security related stuff here now we will move to the IIS section from where we will host this application so in IIS you have to create new website so provide name here some meaningful name here like uh, Umbraco demo site from application pool you have to select ASP.NET version 4.0 and in physical path you, you have to uh, point the extracted file which you have extract, extracted and set uh, permission for that file. So here I have extract that file under D drive its name Umbraco demo test so I will select this one. and after that you have two options either you can use 
use your own uh, local private IP address for hosting purpose and and also you can provide some meaningful host name like uh, www.ourumbrackofhostapp.com like this so for this I, I am using uh, currently here my own uh, IP address here uh, we have to change the port because the, there might be some of the application running on this port so we will provide here unique port like 8087 I have provided the port here after click on ok your site is ready to for installation for the installation after that you, you can able to uh, see this link here in browse website under browse website section click on browse link it will take after that it will take to the installation layout there click on let's get started and accept term and condition and here uh, you have option like uh, you can use SQL Server 2008, 2012 as a database and server uh, MySQL and SQL Ledger whatever the backend database are available currently we can use according to our needed so uh, in my system currently we have installed uh, SQL Server 2008 so that I have selected the first option because the first option by default selected and here my Microsoft SQL Server by default it is selected so if that is not selected if you want to use my SQL Server then you have to you have to uh, select from the list of drop down after that you you have to provide the server name uh, for uh, backend uh, like uh, if you have some database uh, management system installed on your local machine th then you you must have to provide some server name because we are you are going to host the database from that management tool so uh, there must have some name of that server so in my case i have some name of that server and in database name section you must have to provide the name of database which you have created for this application like here we what we are doing exactly we are uh, just installed the local file uh, means front end file from uh, umbraco site uh, do after downloading the uh, file from umbraco site and we and we, we don't have the server file means uh, database server file so for this purpose you must have to create some backend database where uh, the file will uh, install their uh, table of structure and data on that database file so i have created uh, for demonstration purpose umbraco demo as a database name and you must have to provide the username and password for your uh, database management tools and after that you must have to uh, click on install for further process so let's say so here it's showing the installation completed after click on continue it will take to the create user B basically this uh, username and password uh, will used when you log into Umbraco CMS section for management and creation of new application under the Umbraco CMS site. So uh, here I have selected admin, admin as username and mindfire as a password. And I will uncheck this one because we we don't want to get uh, monthly new data here. After that, click on create user it will take a few amount of time after that it will take to the starter kit section where uh, have already some of the uh, built uh, application which you can take as a reference or for practice for installation so i will select the uh, no i will i don't want to save any starter kit so will take me to the you are done section so here we have uh, completed the installation uh, of this application after clicking on set up your new website it will directly take you to the umbraco cms section and where you can create your application 
and manage your application so i will click on log out button here uh, suppose uh, here i am uh, currently a uh, uh, open this website on i i want to uh, open it in mozilla and so for this purpose what we have to do http slash 192 dot what is my ip address 32 and port number 80 i think provided whatever the port here provided i will copy and paste this and this part click on so here uh, we can we will redirect it to the to the login aspx page here whatever the username and password we have provided in create user section we we have to enter here so admin and password was mindfire so after clicking login you can successfully enter in application so this was the installation process of umbraco or cms i hope it would help you and thank you for watching this video